Matthew Mercer, who... Uh, Matthew Mercer, everybody. Great voice actor, great guy, great dungeon master. I'll say this. Matthew Mercer never has to audition for me for any role in a project I direct ever again. He is so committed to his dungeon mastering. Dungeoning master? I don't know what it is, but he was so good. He played... 17 different characters and embodied them physically. Just snapped into every he, different role I, constantly. I thought he was that sort of smarmy guard stationed in front of the outpost at one point. Then I thought he was the bad guy that we were sent to kill. Yeah, he turned into an old fart at the oh pub. He was God. great. He, he was, was great. great. Oh, so in love with you, Matthew, right now. Yes. Yeah. You turned into a giant eagle. <laughs> and you're hearing... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can talk to animals. I can talk to animals. That's your foot hits the room, you're like, oh, that's a dwarven rune. That's a good voice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing my Tiberius. Um, <laughs> it's close. Ah, well, how nice to meet you. Where are you from? Oh, hello. Leaf and laugh and loaf and Ruben. Yeah, from Stephen. <laughs> I hail from the mountains. What can I she had an accident. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh Shh. I might hear spiders. Oh, oh Definitely hit like On the ground next I to you. I quickly whispered to my and sister. To, to the boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> Do they I mean, I mean, he, said, he had parents. Yeah. Uh, we were related somewhat. I'm not going to say nice too close. But, ah, yes. Oh, not to you. To the other guy, Matt. Ah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Laura. Um, Who are you? How did you find me? What is your purpose here? Nasty. <laughs> no. <laughs> Misfire. I got to I got it. I can always I, try, right? You go ahead and roll. As you, you're disadvantaged. <laughs> so hard. So yeah, she's up. You. And there's a slight delay, and you wonder why isn't it working? And it's horrible. <laughs> and you guys now see its motion stop, and you get a full view of its horrible like form. <laughs> Actually, slaps the blade on your hand. And it goes <laughs> and sticks into the ceiling. <laughs> Thankfully, returns back to your belt side because magical belts are cool. His tentacles reel back and pull back in severe pain, and it roars this horrible screeching. <laughs> so you can see its arms uh, are trying to pull it up off the ground and just. <laughs> Flipping around as the entity turns around, <laughs> its head kind of cocked to the side, its tendrils <laughs> flailing around it. Oh. Great axe. <laughs> <laughs> I want to kill something. I would like to rage. <laughs> All right, I will. <laughs> He's doing his flower girl moment. I'm gonna make my way around all this riffraff. <clears throat> no, no, yes. Push your way through. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, pushing through everybody. Do not trust me, Kormakan Tultibar. And uh, any of you speak giant or just Grog? Grog. Grog translates, uh, essentially, they say, we'll take you, but it's at your own folly. Don't take us. Well, it's at our own folly. Oh, okay. oh they will. Should we yeah. take, take us as in, Grog, can you ask them, take us as in lead us or on their back? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a northern he accent. Translates. Use beast speak on trinket. Oh. All right. I'll do whatever it takes to protect oh. my vex. Oh. If this creature tries anything, I will tear its throat from its head. He's a bear than he sounds he super sexy. <laughs> Very sexy bear. And just cresting over the top of this platform is the edge of an alabaster snout with teeth kind of overlapping. And you hear this. This growling snarl, and this little voice kind of spills out from underneath and says, Why don't you enter? If you're going to arrive and present yourselves, do not cower yet. <laughs> Hey, the gnome is at the door. Hey! The gnome oh. is at the door. 
Bring in the gnome! Do you desire a gnome, sire? I, I would like, like the gnome brought before me. Bring the king a gnome, make sure he is a foul mouth in many a song. Oh, fetching the gnome! No one saw this cupcake. I assure you, sire, this gnome has many songs. A very tiny instrument. They're starting to make mountains themselves. Uh, be careful. They're, uh, they're pretty steep. Um, <laughs> I haven't actually gone within the mountain range myself, but I've been within a few miles of it just to make sure that I can mark it with on my map. But. Uh, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it, it should be fine. Um, <laughs> so, uh, stay on the road. Okay, stay on the road. Uh, stay on the road. Do you stay actually have a, a map <laughs> that we could use? This Borrow? is not done. No. And okay. I need to finish it. Okay. Before I can give it to a uh, printer to make more. What's your name? Uh, Tyriok. 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 Um, I'm a. <laughs> Matthew, we've been doing this for three years and you're still fucking blowing me away. <laughs> <laughs> game after game. Approach. You hear a sudden clap of thunder. Things <laughs> rumbling through the sky. Hello? Yes? Oh. <laughs> Charming. Uh, my name is Percival Frederick Stein von Musil Kowalski de Roller the Third. Huzzah! Thank you. <laughs> so, you came looking for black powder, did you? <laughs> No one asked about the black powder, but I knew it had a purpose. Yes, huh. you wish to buy it? How much do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Speak up! Speak up! I haven't all day! 4,623 gold pieces for the barrel. However, for a hog You can see now the spittle dribbling down his chin. I can! I, it's as if I can see teeth. the spittle myself. Yes, indeed. Now, 400! 400, I send you to Samson. Yes, yes, you take. My good sir, you have a deal. Glorious. He turns Glorious. around and just jams the ah, head into the barrel God. of black powder, picks it up, ah. and pushes you out, takes both of you by the arms and pushes you out, slams the door behind, and you're left kind of standing there, half covered in blackened soot and black powder in the center of the thoroughfare, midday, kind of stunned by the whole encounter. I mean, come on. Amazing. Come on, come on, come on. Amazing. Come on. <laughs> That's a crazy prospect. I'm going to very gently. <laughs> I'm going to walk over to Samson's place then and, ex and, ex and become very excited at the prospect of a new accent. So, 6.2, 6.4, 6.5. Amazing. Well, you from the Russian judge. He's strangely comfortable with this. He's he's so comfortable. Mm. Does I gave good. him plenty Does of treats. He doesn't even know what's Boy. happening. Boy, this mournful, low, yeah, guttural yeah. growl. This, if, you're pretty sure it just it translates to, whoa. <laughs> 30? Oh, oh my god. No, wait, 28, 28, 28. <laughs> Pull! Mock, mock. Say it. Say it. Oh. One. It's the easiest number to count to. So. <laughs> <laughs> Out of blood oh, kind of sprays. I out. just hold my hand there. Mike, can you help? Oh. I'll help, I'll help. Okay. It's a misfire. Oh, so oh the pep no. pepper box, you go to the shoot, and there you go. Um, the actual barrel gets clogged, and there's a burst of flame. It rattled the flame. Oh, okay, it's all right. Give me that ruby. Here, just hit me once. Whoa. Ting. Go. Catch it. Pew. Right. Um, water elemental seems appropriate based Great. on our knowledge, yeah? Yes. Yes. Water right. elemental, poof. All right. She and planar it. bindings, poof. All right, so. And I talk to him in my elemental speech, which I can do. And okay. you say? I say, look. <laughs> We're gonna be gone for like 30 days. <laughs> we have a prisoner here. Make sure nothing or no one brings him any harm. An enormous vision of death. A grinning, ancient green dragon. Its wings are kind of curled around its form as it looks down at the rest of you in the middle of this open space and goes, Delicious cattle. Raishan enjoys the taste of fear. At which point it whoosh, 
he sleeps down onto the stage. Well, I only do one thing. I go into a rage. All right. And a frenzied rage. All right. And I take out Craven Edge. And I say, how do you feel about Dragon? I think it sounds delicious. Let's try a taste. <sighs> Great weapon master. I run up to the dragon and hack away. <laughs> All right, man. Another set of wings come slamming down. <laughs> the large black dragon that is like just kind of toying with you. It's climbing across the rooftops and just watching you as you run. And you just hear it kind of chuckling under its breath. <laughs> you hear this voice come just tearing through the center of the Cloudtop District saying, Move on, Umbrasil. I claim this is my domain now. The rest of you have a task to complete. Go! I shall remain and set a new dominion of the Chroma Conclave. Chroma Conclave, that's so cool. Stop, stop, stop what you're doing! Stop it! <laughs> what have you done? What have you fucking done? A flame based elemental energy that's tearing over the side of a newly fallen petrified, uh, petrified, petrified tree. Look what you've done to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is your fault. Gurn, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Purple heart, green stars. 34, 38, 44. Oh! 44. 44. Oh, shit. 44 points I call damage. I don't think I appreciate that very fucking much. I'm saving all your fucking arses out here. Hey, who are you bringing here? And the off behind you says, apparently a blood relative of Kevdax. Is it really you, Strongjaw? I see your eyes still serves you well. <laughs> You know, when Zanwar told us that he came across you up north, we beat the shit out of him for being a liar. No, you should have beat the shit out of him for being a coward. He begged me to let him go. You know what I remember? I remember a herd that nations used to part for. I remember a herd that towns used to quake and run from. I remember a herd that was so proud and dangerous they would never hole up in a shit stink city like this. Grok Strongjaw. I would never have expected this. Not in a very, very long time. So, you come here. Cast away of the herd of storms. You have my attention. Now, what words do you bring my ears before I tear them from your skull, boy? Hello, Uncle. The piece of shit you wiped off your boot has come home. You and me. I challenge you to single combat for the pride of this herd. No, 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 no. Clearly, I've been a fool. You are truly a foe to be reckoned with. And I will slowly drop to my knee. <gasps> no, no, Croc. And I will shout out Vox Machina! Two shots. Fuck shit! Oh! <laughs> Two shots, ready. Come soon. See you soon. Indeed. Can I hit my head on the doorway on the way out? Shimpy! <laughs> you have to kind of pull it out, yeah. Nothing. Nothing um, at all. Just. just taking notes. On Ooh. those people up there? Yes. Oh. Interesting. Cause why not? Why not? <laughs> I, I well, um. Please, <laughs> this this is really high. This is really high. It really is. I think we should go say hi to my friends, don't you? <laughs> okay. We're in need of company, dear, and we fly down. <laughs> Who are you? What are you? Uh, I I am but a a, a simple uh, wanderer and uh, an individual who enjoys uh, learning about. 
things that are uh, new and different. Squeeze him. Don't no, squeeze him. Don't squeeze, squeeze him. him. What's your name? <laughs> Amelie? Darling, you take blue sparkly boos. Blue sparkle blue poos? Sparkles. Can you teach me? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any blueberries? <laughs> I'm gonna ask my mom if you got blueberries. Oh, shit. goes, <laughs> who taught my daughter to say blue sparkly poo? Whoa. <laughs> Come back soon, please. Of course. Come visit me and my parents. Miss, miss <laughs> she runs back to her mom's side and looks at her mom and goes, poo. <laughs> and you see like a, a burst of uh, of Pike's face coming through uh, her, her divine form and she just says I'm sorry <laughs> disappears, yeah. comes back the walls uh, can't maintain uh. and her form vanishes once again fucking Verizon fucking <laughs> <laughs> I'm Your choice is made. I call Become out another me. memory here and keep me company in oblivion. Oh, God. <laughs> Bravo, 21. everyone. Who is this? Bravo to each and every one of you. It's been fun to watch. You know, it gets so disinterested in these lands. And uh, I have to say, I'm impressed. Well. I wish to uh, say adieu. Good luck on your journeys. Who are you? But I am a simple wanderer. An individual who sees the landscape for artistic benefit. I knew it. But I'm glad to have made your acquaintance. It definitely made these past few days absolutely devoid of boredom at the very least. And um. filled my sketchbook. Garmili? It's one of one names. I prefer Octagon. As we begin to approach the gate, you hear a small horn just kind of give off this this uh, arrival notification. This, but like deeper and much cooler sounding. <laughs> because I'm, because I'm not a <laughs> um, Because I'm not a warhorn. <laughs> It's, oh, it's, it's very sparse. <laughs> it's very sparsely All their run horns right were now. Broken in the wall. Yeah, the <laughs> only took them with them. <laughs> it left the regiment behind with a small conch cell. It's partially broken. Um, <laughs> Piggy's got the conch. <laughs> there they go. Look over here. Look over here. Um, Did we just find your Achilles heel? <laughs> horns. Horns. Oh, we've had a thousand out. voices, oh, animals, no. creatures. Can't do horns. And no horns. <laughs> we're bringing in D. There you go. <laughs> I don't do horns, it, they sicken me. <laughs> oh, it's more hit points. I'm still it's, it's a, it's, it, it. Okay, so it's not a small. I'm not gonna say it, but the sun is high in the sky. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so everything is. <laughs> it's full summer. <laughs> It's lunchtime. Okay, so no change in, in lighting Sorry. in the smaller alley. It's all it's equally just lit. Turned Correct. Yeah. Are the Sutan, now that I am aware of. Yes. Does it still belong yeah, in the like possession of this them. Sutan? I don't think oh. so. I don't really know. Those then that own yeah. them own what they own. So maybe it's one of them. You can go ask. I Are they like close? Thank you so mm. much. Relatively. Depending on which one you ask first. You could just give us their addresses or something, and we could go check it out. Like a, if you had a, like Uten? a Thomas what is guy Uten or something. Doing through all this? Uten is just like sitting back, arms crossed. Does he seem like comments. she seems like totally like chill? This is the way this dude talks. All yeah, the it's just completely unfazed. Completely unfazed. I love uh, this character. I love him so much. He is my new favorite. I think he's my he is my favorite. The, the week after hero. Halloween. The week yeah. after. Oh. August 1929, the Badlands, South Dakota. Lights up on the McAllister farm. Mama, a sturdy country woman, comes in from the windy, dusty farm and slams the door. Junior! <laughs> Junior! Get your slow poke molasses ass down here! Whoa. Enter Junior, a simpleton, down the stairs. <laughs> Good sound effects, guys. It's kind of big, isn't he? All right. <laughs> he eats a lot. 
Sorry, I didn't do no chores, Mama. I'm a simpleton. <laughs> what are you doing to me? You'll be sorry when I run this cat of nine oh, tails Lord. over your rear end. Yeah, good sound effect. Good sound effect. It ain't my what fault. Is going on? It's like because teacher Sally died. I, the come on, project. Class. Project. <laughs> come on, Talon. My fault. School was late because, well, teacher Sally died this evening before last. Not sweet, sweet Sally. Oh my, my rear end, I'm gonna miss her. What did her in? Enter Pa, even... a drunk. No. He smashes a beer bottle against the family cat. No, you're not the <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, Satan thing that kills us all around here. Dust poisoning. Here, Ma, I found your bagpipes to play at the dust funeral. <laughs> Your brother is uh, a fun character. He's a dick. <laughs> Do you mean a dick? From your standards, yes. Yeah. Being from where I'm standing, I find it hilarious. Now, shall we? Oh, I don't know. Yes. Let's. <laughs> Ask your questions. Um, what's your full name? Francois Bertrand Jean-Luc Australia. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are. Transference of ownership. They're yours to take. Are you to shove off. Do what the man says. Do they have names? No, it's your choice to name them. Or if, oh, uh, no. It's no use. Uh, no one has enough money for our slaves. Forget it. We should clean up and go home. Of course, master. Of course, sir. We tried so hard. <laughs> <laughs> right. It was worth a try, but uh, we must pack it I'm, in for I'm, some As you're saying yes, this, master. bring the kid. Fiend puts a hand up, and its mouth doesn't move, but you hear a voice pierce you deep inside your head. Oh, shit. It says, <gasps> Stop. I have discourse to make with you, small one. But of course, I am here to sell if you are here to buy. I have interest with your Asamir. Yes, I'll do. Do we have access to anything that goes boom? Well, because what they'd be expecting is the 50 men to come in and hold the gate. How are you going to attack? <laughs> this, is ca this is casual. <clears throat> Hi. How are you going to attack? <laughs> a wink. <laughs> Dale? <laughs> Where you been, man? Like, cash? What the hell's going on? That's the going to die today. What are you doing? Pretty much the same thing, man. This will explode very loudly. How much damage? You know, I've honestly been too nervous to ever find out. <laughs> I say we bring it. <laughs> That's my plan. Good. Can I just give you a quick note? Planning Kashaw is very staccato. He's very, he's very clipped. I feel like when you're just talking normally, you're so warm mm. and pleasant, but when you're planning, you get this, this voice that you use. It's very <laughs> grating. I'm just saying, just try to even out your tone. Do some breathing exercise. Oh, Support from the diaphragm. Mm. <sighs> Let's go. Greater <laughs> <laughs> okay. right for me. He wants one? Please. One greater. You want a greater or? Yes, please. Okay, we have one greater left. Okay, oh, well then he gets, an, like he gets he the gets last. The last one is yeah. Where is fire resistance? I, I would also like to. He takes it, he's better to open the cork. No, 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 <laughs> just go ahead and like empties, you know, fills three uh, oh, small glasses, pats yeah. them over, yeah, and then. And we, right. We've been playing this game three years. You wait three years to pull out that brand new sound effect of a cork coming out. I know. Up the I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can even brand fold new. up the sleeves and make like them yeah. super fashionable. They're super, soft, they're super cool and soft, like the show them the dice on the back. There's a critical role logo on the back. 
<laughs> that's the house voice. When we go home, that's all oh, house really? voice. That's how she talks at home? Yeah. Oh, boy. That's what. It was like the old bait and switch. Charlie's got home and was like, fuck. It's not unlike a raven taking flight. <laughs> ah! Aren't you far away? <laughs> <laughs> Percy, you're up. Come on, people. That, that was way good. too good. That was yeah. good. I've, I've been paid good money for that. I have a perch on her, on her I know, shoulder. Okay. Ah, ah. All right, so. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Wait, I got it. Yeah, it is really good. Ah, ah. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> you dare soil my home after what you've done below. I will watch you. Dissolve before I suck down your liquid forms. <sighs> Slowly curling out from the darkness ahead of you. Bravery means nothing. Survival and victory mean everything. Oh, shut up, you flying suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Who all speaks draconic here? You! You're you speak draconic. One. Nobody else talk. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're all mutes, and you we're lepers and mutes, and you are our just, doctor. Okay, Everybody sure. else just does like fearful anime reacts the whole time. Oh, 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 this giant bluish doorway just erupts across the way. Facing away from me. Facing away from you. <laughs> you see, all of you, that this somewhat darkened, shadowed uh, ravine is now suddenly aglow with bright, vibrant, bluish light. Uh, the blue light turns to crimson, to a deep, burning red, and you hear this horrible deep sucking sound. <laughs> and you watch as <laughs> Yank the Goristro is thrown from it, <laughs> landing in the center of the ravine. Make all the action figure sounds, Matt. Vorgal lands. <laughs> You can see the icicles kind of crystallizing in its front form. <laughs> Goes running forward. And just slams goring with its horns yeah. into Orgol's chest. This feels more like playtime than anything else. Yeah. Like action know, figures. Free, 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 free. <laughs> Watch me play with my toys, yeah. guys. All right. Uh, 13. 13, no. So the first arrow you aim for it. It streaks off and hits another wound and gets jammed in. You pull back the second arrow, and right as you see the snow beginning to blind the image, just one moment of clarity that hits you. you. Release the arrow. Piercing inside where the wound was, where one of Yank's horns had gashed into its front of its chest. Vorgal and just spins into a corkscrew, plummets and crashes into the side of the ravine. Tumbles backward, rocks come tumbling onto it. Vorgal hits the ground, smacked open as it begins to get back up. A bunch of rocks slam down, and one big shard of ice slams into his chest. Still like writhing in plates as he's and bleeding out. And a tree out. grows out of his guts. Yeah! There you are. I just want to pee on myself and run. <laughs> Angry, raging Goliath. Runs and takes one swing. It skids across the scales of the front of Thordak's chest, uh, kind of gleaning past the giant scar in the center. No damage, and, Thor and Thordak just kind of. <laughs> you kind of look up into the beaming star like eyes and angrily. This time the axe sinks in. The laughter stops. Yeah, 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 fuck. As she rushes past, she hears, Those are just loners. <laughs> She's right she inhales okay. her chest, expanding. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. Ah! It's like dragon fighter. Now, get in! Circle and finish this! Oh, oh no, I hide behind that oh, building. Oh god. Okay. What was that? Those faces. <laughs> ah. Don't worry, we'll take them down. 
all of them, each and every one. There's a streak of dragon blood, and the dragon just. And you watch as portions of the scar in the chest tend to like split, almost like a like a fresh wound, <laughs> and it a little bit like pus begins to pour forth. It's nasty. This is. <laughs> you guys bring me to the greatest places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not looking too good. <gasps> well, I, I understand these have been very trying days. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. You know how to help. <laughs> Every time we use this dog, <laughs> that's what happens. Imagine his life. <laughs> just, just moments of like, <laughs> Why won't you all just stay down and die with dignity? We don't do anything with dignity. <laughs> Melora. Come on, girl! Come on, Melora! You watch as as, uh, as Riot Shunk kind of chuckles. <laughs> One of the tendrils flashes out and wraps around the throat. <laughs> and slobber begins to drip from her lower jaw as Riot Shunk, as opposed to speaking, now gets to a guttural. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm say you stay down, bitch! And I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> as the hammer arcs downward. <laughs> is he? And you turn the corner, Grog, and you see uh, Vax holding the still body of Scanlan, just dangling out of his arms. No. 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 Fix him. Fix him. Will somebody do something? <laughs> Just go ahead and like empties, you know, fills three uh, small glasses, <laughs> pats them over, <laughs> and then. And We've been playing this game three years. You wait three years to pull out that brand new sound effect of a cork coming I know, out. Of the I know. <laughs> <laughs> been a long time alone. Wow. Uh, okay, so night time. Have you seen a kraken? Oh yeah, I've seen it. And? Oh, it's fucking terrible. It. Ha I'm not a science man like these two, but oh, science man. it's big. It's Your big. beard is glorious. Oh, thank you. Yours isn't too bad yourself. <laughs> it's fun, buddy. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna cast Anyone speak with animals on him. <laughs> Drink it. Drink it. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's just underwater. It's very wet. It is. What's going on? We're, we're going to be swimming for a while. You're going to make me cry, dear. We're going to be swimming for a little while, all right? Do you feel okay with this? Down in your baby. He can breathe, just breathe in. It's just like land, only not. <laughs> yeah. We're good. Are you all right? I'm all right. Okay. Just giving you a heads up. You may be turned into a whale. <laughs> what is a whale? <laughs> I've been here a long time, and I'll be here long after you are dust. Feed me and give me sustenance. I'll find my way through somehow. For a greeting, I mean, as much as there is one, uh, it's it's a pretty ab abrupt. Uh, and the, you, if you weren't keeping tabs on this, it's it's, it's pronounced Kuthak. 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 Uh, goodbye is uh, very similar. Kuthrek. Maybe like a yes and a no? And then we'll totally leave you to your work, because I, I feel like I've totally interrupted like your flow. Yes, yes, or uh, an acknowledgement uh, is more of a yeah. <laughs> Yay. 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 Is that right? Episode 91, where we forced Matt to make up an entire language on the yeah. spot. Yeah, thanks, guys. This is, this is so Yay. wonderfully Dr. Doolittle. Yay. 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 And then. Wait, wait for it. Uh, Ermagerd. 
Sure. Okay, that's it now, guys. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it, Liam! Oh, no, 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 Marketplace. Point. That is fucking. There is disgusting. there is no, no language. There it 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 looks like it can't really communicate. There, oh it, god! Who is talk the most? Kuthak. Kuthak. Common. Kuthak. Rooms. Uh, you are from around here. <laughs> Certainly not. Urmagard. Urmagard? Urmagard. Urmagard. Could I possibly entertain you with some company? It would. Uh, it would be a change of pace that is quite welcome. Take a seat, both of you. <laughs> Make it deception. Oh, fucking hell. With disadvantage. Oh. Just try and parcel talk. What the hell is that language? Did you say you wanted to go to the disco? <laughs> Eight total. I'm flattered, but. I don't have any. Leans in real close to you. <laughs> I kind of like give a little bit of twitch, like maybe I'm the damaged bone devil. Liar. <laughs> uh, uh. The wings up behind it. You are found in the seeding stages of usurpation of a trusted of dispater and are sentenced to moral reassignment and delivery. You are forfeit to Mentiri. <laughs> there, uh, um, unspoiled, unharmed. <sighs> now, to guide you. And the creature walks up to the bars and clutches the side, staring at you. You see Cotis, yes. yes. He is under the ceiling of Iskath. Though Iskath is not in Mentiri this day, you must leave this room. Turn right, left, straight, straight, left, straight, then right. The iron door with a finged grin bears the mark. There lies your quarry. Now, my debt is paid. Goodbye. Yeah, right, left, straight, straight, right, left, straight. No. no. Right, left, straight, one straight, left, straight, one. right. One is two plus three, <laughs> one right. The fine right. one with the pestle right. is the hell of a fight. Who got the right, right. 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 Uh, The lock pick and it. Oh, it broke. Breaks off. I'm sorry. Care if I try mine? Now you got him. As long as we're all free already. Wait, could you pick the lock frog? Come here. Come what do you mean, just quiet, I can't hold it. It's so just powerful. Quiet. And oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> and one imp just gets spattered across the back oh. of your knuckles. Oof. Um, but the other, you hear. Oh. Uh, fly off. Oh. I imagine he's going to tell the others. <laughs> oh, the shape changes. So many weird things. Doji 2.0, take this down. <laughs> Terry? Yeah, see? Oh, he fucking talks? He talks. <laughs> Well, well uh, 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 Doty, <laughs> how handsome am I? Terry. I heard very. Doty, could you sing to me? <laughs> Terry, Terry. Uh, I like oh this my one. God. Terry. Terry and Mama. <laughs> Terry and my boy. And she kind of sets the book down and walks up, puts her hands out as she approaches. Oh, 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 oh. Takes you with the sides of the face and pulls you in from. Mwah. I've been um, making my way through your library. <laughs> oh, oh, my my books in my room. Yes, well, I've had a lot of time to myself. Been a bit under the weather for some time, and uh, these have kept me fine company. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed them as much as I did. <laughs> What's your favorite one? <laughs> well, not, not this. <laughs> Piece of trash, and he sits down. Um, <laughs> no, no. 
but th there's one, oh, what was it called? Uh, the River's Dawn. Mm. It was a, a, a brilliant. Uh, before the River's Dawn, yes. Yeah, before the River's yes, Dawn, yes, that yes, one, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, it, 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 it dealt with, uh, it was sort of a, a continuation of the, the creation uh, myth of, of, of Wild Mount, but it turned into the spirits of the gods as these two fawns, and they fell in love but could not be together because the dawn had to rise and yes. the sun would shun this. It was yes. very, very beautiful. No, it was, it was, but also heartbreaking at the same very time. Very much so. It reminded me of you. Well, you said you have things that'll fuck you up right. So what would that be considered? <laughs> uh, I mean, no offense, lady, but you're a bit small side. I'm asking you that. Oh, I mean that respectfully. <laughs> Look, I'm just looking out for my patrons here. I don't want to go in, you know, send someone to the local temple to get she brought out of the stupid. Bring it. People under the table. Bring it. All right. Quicker than you've seen your father move, he has grabbed a chair behind him and thrown it across the room, smashing it against the nearby wall. I take a step forward and just unsheath a dagger an inch and say, we're going to keep this civil today, aren't we? Had you have no right to talk to me. I was learning about the world and about life and about family. I was learning from these fine people what it means to really be a family and care about each other. I learned, I learned from Grog and Vax what it means to be a man and to be a father. I learned from Pike what it means to be a caring mother. I learned from Keyleth what a real sister is like, one who loves you and cares for you. I learned from v Vex what a best friend is like. These are things that you never gave us growing up. I even learned from Percival the, the type of man I would want to marry one day. And we never got that at home. And from this day forth, I'm going to create a home, my home, that I own, that values and respects the opinions of each family member. And for the first time, not even the other evening, in which there was a sort of feigned softness to him, that you have read through before and seen the first time you see your father is a broken man, and he looks up at you. I, I lost everything. I did this to us. I'm sorry. I am too. And he starts flapping his 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 arms, <laughs> going. <laughs> <laughs> right at you. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> It'll be explained later. It's not. Does it have <laughs> anything to do with, with charm? Or waddling in through the doorway of the inn as, as the sun in the afternoon is going down to dusk. Oh, there they are. <laughs> you see this one, this one My duck. Oh, God. Hey. hey Brownie. <laughs> what do you have to say about this place? Um, God, they're everywhere. He said there's another pyramid under the city. The duck knew that. Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> All right, see Brownie. That was awesome. Sentry oh. A-OK. -okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sentry? Yeah? <laughs> Can you tell me where there's a really sick tree? Maybe in the Feywild? That sounds sad, but no, I don't know a tree like that. Sorry. <laughs> I've been here in Whitestone since day one. <laughs> Want to play hacky sack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so I graduated from Berkeley and made my way to Whitestone. <laughs> hey, Sentry? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, you apparently kind of live in the middle of all these arcane ley lines of the world. Yeah. <laughs> How far do those stretch? Like, Long way, Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cast Commune with Nature and try and connect with Sentry. Oh, I love and the Sentry! Gra grab the roots and you feel the warmth flow through your hands and there your consciousness connects with that of the Sentry and you, you are both present in that same plant space. I feel my All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Sentry? Hey, Keely. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you. <know. laughs> It's been a while. <laughs> hey, Sentry. Hey, Keila. Can I just, you know, without burning a question, can I just personally ask you, just how you doing, man? Doing all right. <gasps> yeah? A little cold, but... Sure. Why stone? <laughs> Can't say I do. God damn it, Sentry, god damn it. Keith, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to answer your questions, invite you to my space. Just because I'm not an all-seeing tree, don't be angry with me. I'm not angry with you, Sun Tree. I'm just don't frustrated. Be angry with the in general, just chill. <laughs> it's really easy for you to say, Sun Tree. Okay? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, uh, yes, it is a pleasure to have you. Back. Um, How are things in my absence? They have been well. Um, I mean, you've already been gone for a few hours, but uh, they've been uneventful. Uh, oh yes, yes, that's right. Yes. Uh, uh, any uh, any new reports of uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, of uh, the hooded people? Uh, none within the town. Not since uh, last. Uh, oh. Hello, no. Hey, what's up? It's good to see you. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like you want to hug it, makes you like super strong. <laughs> I, I uh, really? Yeah. At no least that's what I feel. No fraternizing. Um, is Terry? Does he have his own room as well? Oh, that's the fancy fellow you've brought with you. Yeah, Terry Scanlon. Scanlon the, Terry. The, the new Scanlon. Yeah, right. Terry, say hi. Hello, I'm Terry and Darrington. <laughs> I've been quite pleased to spend some time with your friends for the last year, and <clears throat> it's, uh, you have wonderful friends. You should honor and cherish them. Uh, they are the best people I've ever met in my life, and um, this is a lovely home you have. It's quite beautiful. Scanlon, don't be rude, respond. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. Thank you for looking after my friends. I, I guess, any friend of Vox Machina is a friend of mine. I don't know. You can you can use uh, the downstairs, the basement room. But we could keep going straight, where that light is. Yeah, they might still be alive. Hello, and I call. Hello. Okay, and that goes. Ho ho hello hello. Be working together, but you could you could talk to Scanlon about it and see if he would be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna get bored of this. I'm never gonna get bored of this. Scanlon, what do you think? Would you be all right? <laughs> that was fucking awesome. <laughs> the physical reaction. At least in the short term. Her nosebleed. You're suggesting that I, Scanlon Shorthog, <laughs> bequeath my employee Chad to this gentleman here? <laughs> you mean me, Terry and Terry? <laughs> You mean Chad could join my brigade? Well, yes, I guess that's what they're talking about. Well, I don't see why not. He's very capable and strong. Yes, and I won't have much use for him for a while, so if you'd like to take him in your brigade, you can. Well, I mean, I'm not going to... I'm not going to say no to a fellow member of Vox Machina now, am I? No, you're not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Just, yes, yes. I would ask. To listen before you make a fool of yourself. <laughs> I've watched you 
since you stepped into my domain. And I'm not going to lie. It's been entertaining. I admire your gumption. It reminds me of others who've tried what you are trying. But they're dead now, so I leave the choice to you. <laughs> I mean, just right fully. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins! The guard captain there, immediately seeing this, reaches back and pulls a horn off his belt and goes, Oh no. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. We'll all die. I reach up, I snap the horn. Run! <laughs> Horns! Make him angrier! <laughs> and I'll make the image go crazy with rage. Yeah. It angrily starts stomping around, oh not affecting anything directly in its vicinity. The just... only way <laughs> the only way to calm it down is if we slowly walk away in different directions. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Hey Sentry Bro. Well. Are you a Sentry Bro? Are you a Sentry? <laughs> brother? Are you a brother? Are you What's your name? She is. I'm a tree of the sun. <laughs> oh. Okay. And I'm not your bro. No, no, no. I mean, I, I just, I didn't know if you knew um, the sun tree that grew in Whitestone on the Prime Material Plane. I didn't know if you knew him or so not. So because I'm a tree of the sun, you assume that I know all of <laughs> no, trees of the sun. Not. Is that what this is? Um, is one of those things? Sorry if I came off a bit brusque. It's been a long time since you must talk to me and. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so, no, I'm sorry. I'm. I didn't mean to offend you if I did. I am. Apology accepted. <laughs> would you like cat. a hug? <laughs> no, I would most definitely not like a hug. Hello there. I'm real. Yes, you're real. There's no invisible frog companion. The, the voices in my head would not have spoken to that. They, 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 they know a little bit better than that. But uh, it doesn't matter. I haven't had people here in over 35 years. <laughs> but you're here, and and you're real. Go away. <laughs> Dimitri, uh, show them out. Dimitri. <laughs> You, you, you watch as two tiny red claws curl around the corner as these tiny impish wings kind of what? unfurl, mm. and you watch as a tiny imp releases from the edge of the, the door frame. Oh my god. <laughs> Get out! Oh. And slams the door. And, and show yourself out, Dimitri. I don't, I don't need you here. 19 years of you is, is more than enough. You hear muffling arguments through the doors. The voice goes, I'll stay where you damn please. You gave me permission to stay. If anyone's going to leave, you're going to leave. I think you should go to Craghammer and become a circus performer with a little tin cup and a little hat and say, oh dear, I'm Dimitri, the magical imp. That's where you belong, I tell you I know. That sounds like a lot more fun than having to deal with you on a daily basis, you son of a... He wasn't really going to offer information anyway. Who are you? Who the fuck are you? Hi, um, why are you doing that for me? <laughs> no. Is that the imp? No, standing by the doorway, you see there, arms crossed, casually standing before you, Vecna. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh shit, fuck, Bob. You must have traveled quite a distance to be far from my sight. You that little girl. <laughs> Who you calling a little girl? Oh, my bad fella. Um, <laughs> sorry, we're, you, as you can tell, we're not from around here. Uh, hey! Visiting, yeah, I, I had a couple of questions. One is, there, there's a volcano just off of this coast somewhere, right? Hey! You... I guess it's time to work. <laughs> Takes the cards, pulls them up from the table. All right, where are we going? 
These strapping young lads are taking us out to the volcano. Yes, gold seat. Mm-hmm. Both look at each other. All right, let's wake up Santy. Santy? They... Shanty. Santy. Santy. Santy on the shanty. The name of the boat is the sea shanty. <laughs> oh. The captain is sh- Santy. Santy. Yep. Captain oh. Santy. Oh. Santy. Santy of, of the, the shanty. That's what I was thinking. Santy Claus. Captain. Technically, this is Captain Santy of the sea shanty. Or the shore shanty. Wow, the shore shanty. The ground. We got customers. You hear this, you hear this rustling beneath, and all of a sudden, the, the hatch slams up. And barreling out from underneath, you see the drunkest, oh, yeah. most unshaven, unwashed, gnarled Goliath you've ever seen. Like to the rest of this right there. Yeah. Brooks. Which way is Do you see anything? I don't know. <laughs> We really need to like say stuff though because no one's gonna be able to understand yeah. us this one. <laughs> Do you see anything around? <laughs> Stomps the ground and you watch from one of the other walls, strutting from it what looks to be a smaller version. In a second, emerges two children. They both emerge going. As you're all just standing there, holding perfectly still. They can't see us, we'll just stand still, they'll be really fine, right? Jurassic Park rules. From the movement of the wings, so keeping cute. you aloft, and the baby's going. <laughs> there is enough oh. air to like actually get a lungful here and there, though it is still thin, Shit. and there is still the toxic fume here. That had you not had the hero's feast, you'd be having a rough time. Um, but you're not having to constantly dip into the uh, the jug anymore. Um, did one of y'all growl just now? Just from the sound. That was you. That was me. Or did it come out of the speaker? You don't know. That shit scared me. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was too loud and from a weird direction. <laughs> I got a haunted house for a second. I was like, <laughs> I cannot <laughs> wait to get to Halloween Horror Nights with you again. The uh, high bearer Vor turns to you, saying, Vox Machina, what a gift of timing. Have you anything to aid in this crisis? Like so much. <laughs> Then please, take the center of the chambers. I believe everyone here could use some form of good news. Yes, the dreams have spread. Right. We've seen and spoken with the clerics all across this land, and it seems that a new force has shoved its way amongst the rest of the Pantheon. How do you know he's coming? Have, well, have you, I'm, I mean, you could just look outside. Kill it, yo, hey, whoa, whoa. I'm, I just... Whoa. Take it down. Take I, it, take it I down. just, just, but... We don't with, need the sass. Yeah, with, with sass. respect. I'm not sassy. <laughs> I am the paladin of the Raven Queen. That he is, and the visions we've seen as well. The pretender god, his words channeled through prayer speak of a new terror, a vile tyrant unchecked. Believe him. His words are that of Our Lady. This threat stretches beyond the borders of Asilra. The clouds darken even our desert skies. But this spectre of the Age of Arcanum has indeed ascended, as the clerics here are convinced. And it is a threat that we of Ancarel cannot ignore. We are merely here to offer counsel and communication. We mean no harm, nor to bring our Arcane knowledge to your quarters, and I apologize, but extenuating circumstances require strange bedfellows, I think you will agree. Hibera! Hibera! Rider of Thetis, with Rider Marley, returning from beyond Moldaya in the Todusk Pass, we found the Dark City. Zenwick of all places. Curious indeed. 
Very well. If this is true, we must mobilize our forces very quickly. We can push our ground troops along the, gr the grass walk road towards the range. If we can choose some elite select numbers for an on-site assault, I can transport them. You will do nothing of the kind. It is arcane perversions that enabled this madman. And we will not allow. We have druids who are familiar with the woods surrounding the base of the Zenwick Mountains. We could transport you to those trees, a number of you, for an initial assault while the rest of our ground forces assemble northward. I am not done! Oh. My apologies. Only Marley and myself survived with one of our wyverns. As we fled over the nearest mountain top as fast as we could, Marley saw and the other one takes her helmet off, and you can see, just caked with blood, one eye kind of swollen shut and a giant wound across the face. I saw the city move. Part of it. It moved, I swear it. I heard a rumble over the winds, looked past, and back over our shoulders, and I saw the city begin to rise. <laughs> Silence takes the room. Oh, but I do. <laughs> Worm Graveler. But the ring, man. <laughs> we just got the ring. You haven't attuned to it yet. Oh! She turns over to Kima, who's currently in the process of getting into an argument with a wyvern rider. And you see her going like, Oh, come on, I can ride too! <laughs> It's like, have you ever ridden a wyvern? No! <laughs> but I haven't met a wyvern that I can't stare down! The wyvern just turns around and kind of chuckles, and then he gets tripped immediately onto his face. <laughs> the crush of metal on the banks, and he spins over, and she kind of... <laughs> spins around and joins Alora's side and goes, You know, I never really liked this place. Bunch of pricks. <laughs> Good to see you guys. You as well. That Holy Avenger getting some action lately? Oh, nowhere near enough. That's okay. You come back. And you and me will have a tussle. God, I love Kima so much. <laughs> awesome. So don't be all doom and gloom, all right? It's a promise. Stay alive. Stay alive. <laughs> How, how strong are you feeling right now? <laughs> you look back at Pike who's clutching onto the back of Jamanta Ord, seeing this, her face just pale white, eyes wide, and she's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. It's okay. You got it, you're a monster. I'm a monster. <laughs> It's also a monster! <laughs> the bass on. Yeah, okay, I'll just move this away. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded just like her. She's turning more and more right. Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Canadian. No kidding. Already. Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. 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 All right. For all of you, ever since Towson did the crow noise a while ago, I want to know if there's any sound effects that you guys are personally really proud of that you can do. Yeah. Oh.
like juggling the thing in the back of the room, but I can't get it to move. So I do them all in the show all the time. I'm a big, much big fan of doing terrible sound effects for physicalities. The whole soundboard is part of this program. I'm like, nah, make up my mouth and sound ridiculous. <laughs> you know, I, like, I like doing sound like stone against stone yeah. grinding or like yeah. fire smoke, like that a lot. <clears throat> or like flames, you know, burning. I like doing alien and xenomorph stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Monster sounds up. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna change the way I was a person, okay? Liam. 38. Thanks for introducing me to Dungeons and Dragons. Do you like it? I'm getting to like it. 